I look back at my childhood with great fondness when I look at old 8-bit games. There was something magical and revolutionary to be able to control what happened on your TV with a little great, great controller. And our parents really had little to worry about when it came to the little red plumber. That's why I see that my, our parents' generation might have a difficult time looking at video games as nothing else than childish entertainment. But for us who have grown up with video games, we know that video games, they grew up a long time ago. <laughs> I always want to rebrand this channel to Grown Up Geek Blog. It sort of plays on the fact that it's okay to be a grown up and still be excited about video games and other pop culture. As 35 years old myself, I'm pretty much considered an old gamer. But that does not mean that all games are made for children. On the contrary, I would say that most AAA titles made today are made for a mature audience. Don't get me wrong, there's a ton of games made every year that are aimed at children. Over half the games published in 2016 were rated E for everyone. But if you look at January's list of the most sold video games, five of them were rated M for Mature, and four of them were on top. Actually, only one game on that list was aimed at children. The rest were sports game, which generally has an older audience. Age rating in games is something a lot of people ignore when buying video games for their kids. And that tells me that they might not have very much experience with modern games. They might not have seen how games have gone from pixelated graphics to graphical violence. Yes, I know, something like sex and violence in film and television is something that we have been exposed to a lot ourselves in our childhood and we turned out fine. And to tell you the truth, these are not the things I'm worried about. We all loved getting scared and uncomfortable as kids, but there's a lot more mature themes and dilemmas in video games that I'm not sure adults consider. The most obvious game that has been the center of a lot of controversy in the past is GTA V. Still, this is the most played game by 12 year olds, which is weird. It's pulp action over the top mayhem is probably the hallmark of GTA games, and these things are, well, rather harmless compared to some of the moral dilemmas you get during the game. This is a game that's meant to give you a game world with no consequences. A game that will test your own morals. The most controversial is probably when you as Trevor is set to torture another man. This is quite uncomfortable for us as grown-ups. So how do you think a kid would react? Another example is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now Call of Duty games has always had like the aim to show you war from different sides of the of the conflict, which is pretty cool actually. That's why a lot of people got a bit taken aback when they were put in the shoes of terrorists ordered to kill a lot of civilians in an airport. This is a powerful tool to show you the ugliness of war and terrorism, but it's a moral dilemma that I don't think children should have to consider. Shooting pirates and bad guys as Nathan Drake in Uncharted is pure adventure set to action music. But if you play the more grown-up game and my favorite, The Last of Us, Every guy you kill will beg for his life. Oh, look, man. Look, we can work something out, okay? No, please. This is a mechanic that really sets in your stomach. And you literally have to excuse every murder with it was either him or me. And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. A powerful tool to show you the dark desperation of this world, but maybe something a child wouldn't understand. Then there are games that has just grown-up themes, like life, existence, the sense of belonging, depression, anxiety, tragic tales of loss and sorrow. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Thing is that games, like any other narrative medium, like books and video games, can appeal to several age groups. And even though many of the old generation sort of missed it, games at one point 
became just as big of a narrative medium as all the others. Some games can be cute and exciting for kids, while others can be profane experiences for adults. Nobody can tell you what your kids can't or can experience, that's your job alone as a parent. And every child has different ways of relating to or distancing themselves from video games and other mediums. But just keep in mind, age rating on the box? That's there for a reason. As a child, I remember being able to view content above my own age group as long as I was accompanied by a parent. And with video games? I recommend parents to do the same thing. And when Timmy at the age of 10 asks for an adult video game, maybe just use 5 minutes on Google. Just figure out what the game is about. You might be glad that you did. Let kids play video games. It's a great way for kids to experience and learn through play. And it's a medium that encourages them to solve problems with the mechanics given to them. And at the same time, they're transported to a magical world filled with adventure and beautiful stories, which probably is a much more deeper than I think. This week, Nintendo launched their new Nintendo Switch. And as before with the Little Red Plumber, Nintendo is a very family-friendly platform. But did you know that the PlayStation had parental control features? That you can actually block content over some age groups? And that the PlayStation Network has several great games for kids and families? I'll make a separate video with some of my favorite games. As soon a parent myself, this is an issue I'm often haunted with. Especially when I have a lot of older acquaintances that express a lack of knowledge when it comes to modern video games. These are often the same people who has problem understanding that a grown man can play video games. So if you know someone like this, I hope you share this video with them. And if you are one of these guys, I'll hope you give video games a chance. It might be a medium you have ignored for a very long time, and you might find that you like it. There are several stories and experiences to be had, and you're never too old to play video games. Let's continue discussing down in the comments section. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I guess I'll talk to you later.